Hello friends, welcome back. A polar equation is an equation involving polar coordinates. A polar equation represents a curve in a plane which we call a polar curve. Sometimes the curve must be a circle, sometimes a straight line and so on. In this session, we discuss the graphing of some polar curves. We first consider the graphing of circle. Let a greater than 0 be fixed and consider the polar equation r is equal to a. If the coordinates r and theta in the ordered pair ordered pair r theta are related by the equation r is equal to a, then the ordered pair takes the form ordered pair a theta. As theta varies over the interval closed interval 0 to pi, the locus of the points with coordinates ordered by a theta trace a curve such that any point on the curve is at a distance a from the pole and making an angle theta with the initial line where 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi. Obviously, this curve is the circle of radius a centered at the origin o. In particular, r is equal to 1 is the equation for the circle of radius 1 centered at O. R is equal to negative 1 is also the equation for the circle of radius 1 centered at O. As another example, we plot the curve R is equal to 2A cos theta where A is a positive constant. From plane geometry, we know that a triangle that is inscribed in a circle with a diameter of the circle for a side must be a right angle. Thus, as indicated in figure, considering all possible right angled triangles with hypotenuse as diameter having length 2a that lies on the polar axis, when theta varies r also varies with respect to the relation r by 2a is equal to cos theta. That is, when theta varies r also varies with respect to the relation r is equal to 2a cos theta. Hence, the locus of all possible ordered pair r theta satisfying the equation r is equal to 2a cos theta represents a circle of radius a centered on the x axis at the point ordered pair a0 in Cartesian coordinates and tangent to the y axis at the origin. We note that from figure or from the equation, when theta is equal to 0, r is equal to 2a times cos 0 which is equal to 2a which gives the point having the polar coordinate ordered by 2a 0. When theta is equal to pi by 2, r is equal to 2a times cos pi by 2 which is equal to 0 which gives the point in polar coordinates ordered by 0 pi by 2. That is the point with the Cartesian coordinates ordered where 0 cos pi by 2 comma 0 sin pi by 2 which is equal to ordered by 0 0. When theta is equal to pi, r is equal to 2a cos pi which is equal to negative 2a which gives the point with polar coordinates ordered by negative 2a pi. And as negative 2a is the directed distance when angle is pi and this point in polar coordinates and also in Cartesian coordinates is ordered by 2a 0. As another example, we plot the curve r is equal to 2a sin theta where a is a positive constant. As in the previous example, from plane geometry, a triangle that is inscribed in a circle with a diameter of the circle for a side must be a right angle. Thus, as indicated in figure, considering all possible right angled triangles with hypotenuse as diameter having length 2a that lies on the y axis, when theta varies, r also varies with respect to the relation r by 2a is equal to sin theta. That is, when theta varies, r also varies with respect to the relation r is equal to 2a sin theta. Hence, the locus of all possible ordered pair r theta represents a circle of 
radius a centered on the y axis at the point ordered where 0 a in Cartesian coordinates and tangent to the x axis at the origin. Thus, as indicated in figure, the equation r is equal to 2a sin theta represents a circle of radius a centered on the y axis at the point ordered where 0 a in Cartesian coordinates and tangent to the x axis at the origin. We note that from figure or from the equation, when theta is equal to 0, r is equal to 2a sin 0 which is equal to 0 which gives the point having polar coordinate also the Cartesian coordinates ordered by 0 0. When theta is equal to pi by 2, r is equal to 2a sin pi by 2 which is equal to 2a which gives the point with polar, polar coordinates ordered by 2a pi by 2. When theta is equal to pi, r is equal to 2a sin pi is equal to 0 which gives the point in polar coordinates ordered by pi 0. We now consider families of circles. In the above examples, we have seen that r is equal to a and r is equal to 2a cos theta and r is equal to 2a sin theta are all represent circles where a is a constant. If we treat a greater than 0, a variable, then r is equal to a represents a family of circles centered at O. r is equal to 2a cos theta represents a family of circles centered on the x axis and tangent to the y axis at the origin. r is equal to 2a sin theta represents a family of circles centered on the y axis and tangent to the x axis at the origin. Line. If we hold theta fixed at a constant value theta is equal to theta naught and r vary between negative infinity and positive infinity, the point P with the coordinates ordered where r theta traces the line through O that makes an angle of measure theta naught with the initial ray. That is the equation theta is equal to theta naught represents the line through O making an angle theta naught with the initial ray. As r is the directed distance, we can take any real number between negative infinity and positive infinity to get a line from the equation theta is equal to theta naught. We bring your attention to note that if we impose the restriction r greater than or equal to 0, then the graph is just the ray in the first quadrant. The equations theta is equal to pi by 6, theta is equal to 7 pi by 6 and theta is equal to negative 5 pi by 6 all represent the same line as shown in the figure. Sketching polar graphs by plotting points. We now consider an example where we sketch the graph of the polar equation r is equal to theta where theta greater than or equal to 0 by plotting points. We first note some points on the curve. When theta is equal to 0, r is equal to theta is equal to 0 and this corresponds to the point ordered by 0, 0 in polar coordinates and this point is the pole. When theta is equal to pi by 4, r is equal to theta is equal to pi by 4 and this corresponds to the point ordered by pi by 4 pi by 4 in polar coordinates and this point is marked in the polar graph. When theta is equal to pi by 2, r is equal to theta is equal to pi by 2 and this corresponds to the point ordered by pi by 2 pi by 2 in polar coordinates and this point is also marked in the polar graph. When theta is equal to pi, r is equal to theta is equal to pi and this corresponds to the point ordered by pi pi in polar coordinates and this point is also marked in the polar graph. When theta is equal to 2 pi, r is equal to theta is equal to 2 pi and this corresponds to the point ordered by 2 pi 2 pi in polar coordinates and this point is at 2 pi distance from the pole and OP makes an angle 2 pi with the polar axis that is OP lies on the polar axis. The point is also marked in the polar graph. 
if we plot more points we obtain a curve of shape as in the figure now we discuss sketching polar graphs using cartesian graphs there is an alternative way to draw polar graphs using cartesian r theta plane as follows step 1 first graph r is equal to f of theta in the cartesian r theta plane that is plot the values of theta on a horizontal axis and the corresponding values of r along a vertical axis step 2 then use the cartesian graph as a table and guide to sketch the polar coordinate graph this method is better than simple point plotting because the cartesian graph even when hastily drawn shows at a glance where r is positive negative and non existent as well as where r is increasing and decreasing we illustrate this method by graphing the curve r is equal to cos 2 theta we first graph r as a function of theta in the cartesian r theta plane that is we plot the graph of r is equal to cos 2 theta in r theta plane referring figure it can be seen that when theta varies from 0 to pi by 4 cos 2 theta varies from 1 to 0 so r is equal to cos 2 theta varies from 1 to 0 when theta varies from pi by 4 to pi by 2 cos 2 theta varies from 0 to negative 1 so r varies from 0 to negative 1 when theta varies from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 4 cos 2 theta varies from negative 1 to 0 so r varies from negative 1 to 0 when theta varies from 3 pi by 4 to pi cos 2 theta varies from 0 to 1 so r varies from 0 to 1 when theta varies from pi to 5 pi by 4 cos 2 theta varies from 1 to 0 so r varies from 1 to 0 when theta varies from 5 pi by 4 to 3 pi by 2 cos 2 theta varies from 0 to negative 1 so r varies from 0 to negative 1 when theta varies from 3 pi by 2 to 7 pi by 4 cos 2 theta varies from negative 1 to 0 so r varies from negative 1 to 0 when theta varies from 7 pi by 4 to pi cos 2 theta varies from 0 to 1 so r varies from 0 to 1 with the aid of arrows numbered 1 to 8 from the theta axis and taking these as radii we draw the graph of r is equal to cos 2 theta in the polar plane as another example we graph the curve given by the polar equation r is equal to sin theta we first graph r as a function of theta in the cartesian r theta plane that is we plot the graph of r is equal to sin theta in r theta plane referring the figure it can be seen that 1 when theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 r varies from 0 to 1 2 when theta varies from pi by 2 to pi r varies from 1 to 0 3 when theta varies from pi to 3 pi by 2 r varies from 0 to negative 1 4 when theta varies from 3 pi by 2 to pi r varies from negative 1 to 0 with the aid of arrows numbered 1 to 4 from the theta axis and taking these as radii we draw the graph of r is equal to sin theta in the polar plane we note that when the role of radii vector given by 3 is the same as that of 1 the role of radii vector by 4 is the same as that of as another example we graph the curve r is equal to 1 plus cos theta by 2 using cartesian graphs we first graph r as a function of theta in the cartesian r theta plane since the cosine has period 2 pi cos theta by 2 has period 4 pi and we must let 
theta run from 0 to 4 pi to produce the entire graph. The arrows from the theta axis to the curve give radii for graphing r is equal to 1 plus cos of theta by 2 in the polar plane. We now discuss sketching polar curve from its parametric form. The parametric equations corresponding to r is equal to f of theta or x is equal to r cos theta which is equal to f of theta cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta which is equal to f of theta sin theta. We use this information to graph polar curves. As an example, we draw the polar equation r is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2 using its parametric equation. By substituting the given expression for r in x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta yields the parametric equations x is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2 times cos theta and y is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2 times sin theta. Now, we need to find an interval over which to vary theta to produce the entire graph. To find such an interval, we will look for the smallest number of complete revolutions that must occur until the value of r begins to repeat. Algebraically, this amounts to finding the smallest positive integer n such that 2 plus cos of 5 theta plus 2 n pi by 2 is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2 or cos of 5 theta by 2 plus 5 n pi is equal to cos 5 theta by 2. For this equality to hold, the quantity 5 n pi must be an even multiple of pi. The smallest n for which this occurs is n is equal to 2. Thus, the entire graph will be traced in two revolutions which means it can be generated from the parametric equations x is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2 times cos theta and y is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2 times sin theta where 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 4 pi. Figure shows the graph of the polar equation r is equal to 2 plus cos 5 theta by 2. In this session, we discussed various methods for tracing polar curves. The methods have been illustrated through a number of examples. We will continue our discussion on drawing polar curves in the next session also where we will draw cardioids and families of roses. See you next time. Have a great day.